Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another AI toolkit tutorial. So with the version 1.5 update, we now have a new workspace with enhanced features and I'm here to show you how to quickly set that up. So let's drag one into the level and let's set worker limit to one. So basically worker limit is how many, uh, the maximum AIs that a particular workspace can support at any given time. So it's just the maximum number of AIs. And as if you look down here, we have two new options, snap location and snap rotation. So snap location, it, if you check that, the AI will snap to the location of the workspace slot that he uses. And snap rotation will snap the rotation of the AI to wherever the slot is uh, facing. So it's just, move this up and the first thing you're going to notice is that we have a new arrow here which is essentially the entrance of the of a particular slot in the workspace so this is especially useful for let's say if you have i think i have a bench right here so let's say we have this bench right here and Obviously, you want the AI to en enter the workspace from in front of the bench. You wouldn't want AIs to enter from the back of the bench. So this entrance is useful for those cases. So you have you can put the entrance in front of the bench and then have the worker slot somewhere here. So that's the use of this entrance slot. If I add, if I increase the worker limit to two, that will generate another uh, entrance slot for the the for the other slot transform that we have right here. You can see which entrance belongs to what slot if you take a look at the numbers beside the names that they have. So one zero one zero. So that's basically it. So let's quickly set up a workspace for this bench right here. Let's go back to the blueprints folder, drag in a workspace and worker limit of one. Now to view the the nav mesh just press P and you will see the green uh, highlights over here is what the AI can walk on. So let's make sure the entrance is somewhere uh, around uh, somewhere inside the green green area okay now I have an animation pack right here uh, we have a sit some sit animations I already retargeted that to my mannequin here it is so it, it's a, just a sit animation that we can use let's create an animontage for this am sit and let's assign this to our workspace. So the AI will use this animation uh, as the uh, for the workspace. So I have the duration at 10 and random deviation of one. Now, since we are sitting, we want the AI to snap the rotation. So it actually faces where we want it to face. And then maybe we also want to snap location. Now, we take a look at this animation right here it's actually facing backwards the AI is actually facing backwards because it has an entrance animation right here which makes him face backwards so so we want the slot to actually this is correct these the AI should face this way if he wants to use this particular workspace now that we have that set up, let's drag in our AI and click on the behavior component, set it to random work, and right here let's assign the available workspace, BP workspace. So now I'm going to put the AI behind, just behind the bench so you can see that he actually walks up to the entrance of the workspace hit play, now he runs, and then he sets. 
Now that was a bit that was a bit too fast as you can see. It snaps very fast. That works that works for some some animations, maybe if he's just standing that would work. But for our case it doesn't. So luckily we have a an entrance animation that we can use. So let's open AM set and let's drag the start animation. Make sure it's in beginning. Now the trick with uh, using workspace animations and have uh, while having a uh, kind of a start animation is we want we want this part to loop, right? We want this part to loop. We want this one to trigger just once. So what we're going to do is right click somewhere here and in, in, in between the, these two animations and new uh, section. We call this loop. So we basically created a new montage loop, a um, montage uh, section. Now we're going to click the loop, click on this other loop in the section, and that will create, as you can see, it turned blue. That means that this particular section is now looped, and this one isn't. So if we play this, so he enters that, and if when he finishes, when he finishes that, it loops. So that's what we want. Save that. And if we play again, should he should be able to play that. Oops. There's something hitting him. Let's see. See if we can adjust the workspace. Ah, there we go. So now, you, as you can see, that's a bit better. Could probably move the entrance animation, uh, entrance slot as well, so the snap location isn't as slidey. And yeah, that's basically how you use this new workspace with an entrance slot and with the looped animation montage.